What is iBeacon? iBeacon is a new technology that Apple is using that leverages Bluetooth 4 LE, which has been in the iPhone since the iPhone 4S, so it's in your 4S, your 5, and your 5S, and the 5C, and it allows for micro-location based on Bluetooth uh, technology. So it's very low power, so you can have your Bluetooth on, uh, and you can figure out where you are indoors in a very precise manner. Well, an iBeacon can represent a number of different things. It could either be a fixed location in space, such as someone's office or a product display. Uh, it, could it could also represent a moving target, such as a user who needs help within your environment. So this is an iBeacon. Uh, this is a prototype, uh, actually, so it's actually a bit larger than what you would typically see. Your actual cost of this going forward should generally drop below $10 and it actually just runs on a coin cell. So it's very, very cheap and very, very effective and easy to implement. And you can bury this in walls, you can bury this just about anywhere that you want. So the development process for working with iBeacons, uh, first you have to determine how many iBeacons you're gonna be using and what each beacon is going to represent. Uh, the second step for us was to build a test bed that could emulate any of the beacons from an iOS device. This allowed us to test all of the different possibilities for the iBeacons without having to reprogram physical hardware each time we wanted to make a small change. And then the third part of the development process was writing the actual app that reacts to the iBeacons uh, it finds around it and provides location sensitive actions to the user. So a way that you can think about iBeacons is if you're going to uh, a business, take the nerdery. Uh, when you're actually walking up to the building, you can actually geofence things based on cellular network. When you get to the front door, your phone can wake up and say, welcome to the nerdery, uh, please check in at the front desk. Um, so you can actually give people guiding messages to say, here's where you need to go, here's what you need to do. When you're actually here, say you get lost, you can actually become the eye beacon yourself. So you can say, hey, I need help, I don't know where I'm at, and then someone can come and find you, and based on the fact that you are now an eye beacon, they can come and hunt you down and say, here's where we're gonna go as well. So those are all great ways of using iBeacon. So industries that could really use iBeacon are anywhere that you really want to know where people are. So if you think a museum, you go up to a piece of artwork, you can get more information. Uh, zoos, uh, anything where you're kind of doing any kind of exhibit. If you go through and you want to say, oh, I'm going to pick up an order uh, for something and say, you walk into a store, it says, why don't you go over to this counter, you're gonna meet Jane and she's going to give you your package, make sure you have your receipt ready. To concierge type services where if you're in a location you can say, help me out, and you yourself become the eye beacon, and other people can help find you. And so anywhere where you're actually trying to figure out where do I need to go, what am I looking at, um, whenever there's more information to be uh, had, based on where you're at. That's where you can really get new and interesting in, uh, innovations in lots of industries.